Accountability, New York City Police Commissioner Ray Kelly seems to be immune. Kelly is responsible for not one, but two of the most discriminatory law enforcement programs in the business, stop and frisk, and spying on New York's Arab and Muslim communities. So far, he's managed to avoid being investigated by the Department of Justice, in spite of a number of controversial remarks. According to New York State Senator Eric Adams, Kelly stated that he targeted or focused on minorities because he wanted to instill fear in them that any time they leave their homes, they could be targeted by police. Commissioner Kelly had 12 years of saying, you can do whatever you want. That can't happen in a, in a city, in a country like America. Someone must say to our law enforcement agencies, you can't do that. How does Kelly get away with it? Possibly by stoking fear with comments like these. We see ourselves as the number one target, and we have this stream of young men who want to come here and kill us. Or these. The CIA and Department of Defense are sort of now downplaying the threat of terrorism. It's clear Kelly is playing on his own field by his own rules. On Wednesday, thousands rallied in Washington for immigration reform that would offer a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. A comprehensive immigration reform proposal is due out any day now from the bipartisan group of senators known as the Gang of Eight. Meanwhile, a group of Democratic senators, who will call the Gang of Seven, has urged the Gang of Eight to make family reunification as much of a priority as employment-based immigration, saying both are vital to our country's future. With all this gang activity going on in Congress, it looks like immigration reform might actually become a reality. If you think partisanship in Washington is bad, check out the filibuster abuse that almost sank an opportunity for the Senate to debate gun control. More than a dozen Republican senators had threatened to block a vote to debate the first piece of major gun control legislation in the Senate in two decades. Senator John McCain was clearly vexed. I, d I don't understand it. The purpose of the United States Senate is to debate and to vote and to let the people know where we stand. So you'd and encourage would, Republicans not I to would, filibuster? I would not only encourage it, I don't understand it. What are we afraid of? In the end, while the families of Newtown victims watched, the filibuster threat was thwarted and debate will begin next week. Even though a majority of Americans support stricter gun control measures, the bill has a mountain to climb in a Congress that seems to have cold feet on this issue. Secretary of State John Kerry has begun a round of shuttle diplomacy between Israeli and Palestinian officials, and he's expected to use the Arab Peace Initiative as a framework. Under the initiative, Arab states would recognize Israel and ensure the security of its borders in exchange for its withdrawal from all territory seized in the 1967 war. The offer is on the table for the Israelis to accept, but with Prime Minister Netanyahu's refusal to return East Jerusalem or stop settlement construction, things aren't looking particularly particularly sunny. Still, we're glad for the administration's efforts to jumpstart peace talks, and the initiative is a good place to start.